Hi there, my name's Simon, and in this episode of the Maserati Guy, we're going to find out if this is a lemon. So I'm down at Gore Hill um, Reserve again uh, with the R8, which is looking magnificent in the uh, early evening light. Um, it's been one of the warmest days in Sydney this year as we're just going into summer and uh, it's 30, it was 37 degrees at the maximum today and uh, we've got a line of storms approaching so I need to get this video done quickly before we all get rained on. Um, but uh, the R8 has just spent the day with my um, my tame mechanic Bruce over at Auto Active uh, in Artarman. He's um, been through a full inspection of the vehicle. Now I know this is the wrong way around. Normally you would do a pre-purchase inspection um, before you buy a car, but um, with this car I was very happy to rely on the excellent service history and also the fact that um, the dealer had um, undertaken a service just before it put it on the market and uh, it had been through the um, the Audi kind of 150 point um, checklist which had uh, been um, all fairly fairly good. Having got the car and had it for a couple of weeks um, I always like to um, check that there's nothing glaring, glaringly obvious that needs to be fixed under the um, statutory um, three month warranty. So let's go through the report. So one of the things that was clearly um, at fault here um, was uh, the condition of the battery. It's not producing enough um, voltage um, according to the specs. So we'll have to get a new battery. That's often the case with um, used cars is that they don't bother replacing the battery. So we'll have to get that done. There is one tiny little oil leak um, coming from the oil pump. Um, Apparently there's a shaft that goes through an O-ring um, into the oil pump. It's a very, very slow leak. Um, it's not like it's dripping. There's just a kind of film of oil on the, on the bottom there. So that might be something that has to be done at some point in the future, but not right now. Um, so one of the things that's clearly uh, defective is the passenger side. Um, it's, it's on the driver's side, but it controls the passenger side um, window uh, that switch is not working properly um, so that will need to be replaced um, if we come around this side also you can see that the passenger side door handle um, has actually got quite a lot of play in it um, that's not normal um, compared to the driver's side so um, we'll need to get that fixed. Probably the biggest thing that needs to be done according to this inspection is the um, control arm bushes front and rear, upper and lower. Um, so we're hoping that those bushes are able to be pushed out and just replaced um, so that we don't have to replace obviously the whole um, control arm. Um, but I've noticed a bit of knocking going over bumps coming from the rear so uh, that would that would make sense with the uh, bushings being shot um, and there being some metal on metal contact um, within the um, the rear suspension so as expected tires and discs and brakes pads are all good um, the um, pads and discs were uh, replaced as part of the service just before um, I um, purchased it um, tires are all pretty good um, there is, as I say, a few little bodywork um, issues around here. Obviously, I'm going to get that front bumper bar uh, repaired. Um, there is actually a bit of a nasty little ding on the side of the... I um, don't know if you can see down here. There's actually quite a nasty little ding just on the, on the side skirt there. That will actually probably need that whole piece to be replaced and um, I'm not expecting them to do that under warranty as that was uh, that was well known before um, before I bought it um, but generally the comment um, from my mechanic Bruce uh, was that it was in excellent condition um, mechanically very sound um, bodywork pretty pretty good for a car that's um, eight years old you can't expect it to be perfect um, so, kind of scary really, I think I might have, might have done all right here. 
need to get the battery fixed obviously um, the battery will be the uh, the easiest thing to fix um, so I'll get that done um, but generally a very very fine bill of health uh, for this uh, fantastic um, V10 R8. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, latest Maserati guy video looking at the uh, the Audi R8 and its um, uh, condition report and its post-purchase inspection um, and hope you found some of the things that have been picked up interesting um, might be useful for anyone thinking about um, buying one of these cars to know what, what kind of stuff turns up on an eight-year-old car. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, I should just say I'm in the process of rebooting my, um, my website, uh, which is maseratiguy.org, maseratiguy.org. Um, in there, basically, you can find all my YouTube videos in one place. I'm trying to put a few um, articles in as well, um, a few different uh, things for you to read, um, some links. Um, basically, just a place where um, I, can, I can put all my content in one place. Um, so uh, go and check that out, uh, maseratiguy.org. Um, if you did enjoy this video, um, don't forget to give the like a click. Um, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at maseratiguy2017. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.